Hello, this is the Alweasel. And Malo, let's play... King's Quest V. In the Fortress of Doom. <laughs> V-I spells V, right? There's a small yes, yes. Near the door that bears a sign. No, Vi, like Vi Hart. Ah. It once read, ten pence. But that was crossed out and replaced with five pence. Then one pence. Then free. The sign currently reads, take one, please. Cursed Only some things. Book remains on the table. Yay, a cursed book. Shop owner really wants to get rid of that book. I can take that off your hands. As you pick up the book, your flesh begins to melt off of your hands. The book from the small table. Oh, yes, please take that book. You have my most humble thanks for doing so good, sir. See, that's not promising. No, yeah, that's fine. Really? Yeah. Thanks? I'm too stupid to understand the fact that all of this is not promising. Alexander is carrying a book from the bargain table in the bookshop. Alexander can't be bothered to read the words in it. What? I think you just got it out click? to read, yeah. No, oh, no, no. Okay. Alexander opens the bargain book and reads a paragraph. It's too bad we don't know the title. <laughs> dulcimers raised to the degree of 40 half dulcimers divided into equal parts by the third of a cackle of grouse geese put over the result of 10 fine mackles albeit small fine mackles. I'll bite, really? I'll bite. <laughs> the total of 53 and an eighth bottles of wild beast lard. Mm. So it's a dull recipe book. Phew, what an incredibly boring book. No wonder the bookshop owner wanted to get rid of it so badly. Okay, then. There's a book entitled The Changing Role of Court Entertainers Through the Ages on the small table in the reading area. It appears that some regular customer likes that book. I wonder who that could be, Take even that. though it's the same color. Alexander feels his pockets carefully to make sure he... Really? <laughs> I have to w step away. <laughs> Let me walk over here so I can walk back and grab this book. Alexander rests his feet for a moment. That's not where I clicked. Alexander... Oops. Okay. That's fine. You and your over-clicking. Too bad we couldn't be bothered to actually read it. Little <laughs> shop. Books of every size and shape line the walls. A crackling fire in the fireplace completes the tranquil scene. Okay, then. I already tried sticking my finger in there, but you wouldn't let me, so... A plaque bearing a merchant crest hangs over the doorway. The bookshop owner must be proud of his credentials. Or it's required to be there. <laughs> Alright, let's go get another mint and feed it to this guy. <laughs> I have my priorities. Yeah, your job is just to walk back and forth between these two shops, yes, taking yes. mints from one and giving them to the guy in yep. the other. I don't, I'm just here to, for a mint. <laughs> you might want to save before losing the mint next time. Yeah. <laughs> Walks in, says nothing, takes a mint, <laughs> leaves. <laughs> what a nice does. guy. <laughs> is there like an F button? Oh, like a quick save? Doesn't look like it. Well, really? that's frustrating. Yeah. Well, you know, point and click adventure. Everything has to be point and click. You're not allowed to get to anything at all without pointing and clicking. Old lamps for new. You Would you like mints? an old lamp? <laughs> Good day again. You can't help me. However, <laughs> I can help somebody else. My entire else. existence is moving mints from one shop to another, so... Would you care for a mint, stranger? Mm, give it to me. Okay, I'm not gonna click. Yum! What the heck? The old man sways momentarily, but seems to quickly recover. That must be some strong mint. 
Maybe that's just a hint to you about how strong yeah. the mint is, and it's yeah. not really a, not a useful action. I would reload just to... Or I guess you can grab another mint. Why not? That's, that's the plan. <laughs> infinite supply of mints. <laughs> you walk see the in. strangers walk into your door repeatedly. <laughs> Good day, person who only comes here for mints. <laughs> I see you're taking another mint. <laughs> Alexander takes a mint. <laughs> would you like a conversation? Or a put No? Okay. <laughs> How many mints bye bye. are worth that ring, I wonder? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> There's a battered wicker chest in front of a shop. Well, steal it. <laughs> I mean, that's you can't the plan. see you stealing it. Chest does not interest Alexander. It's probably full of plain earthenware, which you know is not does not come in handy at all. Old lamps for new. Old lamps for new. Old lamps for new. You want your gold Alexander teeth? Can't do anything with that part of the village from here. <laughs> you tried to touch it instead I of know, walking I know. there. <laughs> Alexander's arms just aren't long enough to reach the other part of the village. This is... different. Alexander doesn't want to intrude on private property unless he's... Been what?! In this is an case, RPG! Well, no it oh, isn't. <laughs> not, not an RPG, okay, fair enough. Stay away from those roses! There are roses everywhere. What job could she possibly have? Sweet for the likes of you. You've still got to do the breakfast dishes, make lunch, and clean the stables yet this morning. And get your veil back on. No one wants to look at your face. Your face, your face. Okay then. Okay, Cinderella. Nice. Y'all have fun. I want to meet that old lady. <laughs> You uh, managed to uh, go walk just uh, shy of actually off the screen. Uh, uh, <laughs> Having edge of screen problems. Somehow I don't think there's more to go over here. Really? Even though it really yeah, looks me, like there is. Let me, let me. Gee, oh. look at the more to go over here that there is. <laughs> well, it, why didn't it work for me? Because you weren't quite at the edge of the screen. I was according to my thing. I wonder if something's being cut off for me. Whatever. Who cares? All right. Um, this looks safe to cross, right? <laughs> a ramshackle wooden gangplank leads from the pier to the docked boat. This is not a docked boat. It is completely on this little well, island Well, it is here. docked. It's also out of water. Fair it's enough. It's a dry dock. Fair enough. I didn't want to knock, I wanted to go in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what do you want? Um, Apparently not to continue that conversation. I was just wondering if you own this boat. I don't know why I was wondering that. Go away, the ferry's out of business. So this will be eventually how you get off right. the... Right, uh... exactly. Again, given that there are seven people on this island, you'd think that he would uh, be a bit surprised to see somebody new. <laughs> That's not going to get annoying. <laughs> the cargo bay is unlikely to hold anything of interest or have a very pleasant smell after months of dry docking. See? Dry dock. Alexander decides not to descend into the dark hole. But I like dark holes. <laughs> Coward! <laughs> So we know this is a tropical place. Yep. The, uh, the old palm trees. Trees de palm. Well, I wonder if they're going to let me in now. <laughs> I don't There's want to intrude on this basically torturous environment I've found. Again, not quite the edge. <laughs> so I... Uh, my... There okay. you go. <laughs> like I have to be pixel perfect. Yeah, for me. I think uh, so. So it might be pixel perfect because remember, if this was the original, it would just be dragging your mouse to the edge of the screen. Oh, uh, okay. Offers a variety of lamps, all neatly lined up on a long pole. I mean, I don't have a, a lamp, so. <laughs> and he doesn't take money. Is anyone here? 
What? No one answers Alexander's <laughs> shouted greeting. What? Perhaps he should find someone. <laughs> what? I, I clicked that on was him. That the strangest thing I've ever seen. Good day, peddler. Good day, sir. If you would like to get one of my fine new lamps, I'll need an old lamp in trade. That's insane. <laughs> well. Old lamps and giving new lamps in exchange? Well, there's always a chance that I'll find a genie. <laughs> if I had a genie, well, I'd be richer than a king. Besides, there's always a roaring business in antique luminaries. So, okay, then. his lamps are made of plastic, and he's hoping that somebody will yep, give him, exactly. you know, a fine ivory lamp. Yes, yes. Old lamps for new! <laughs> Shut your face. <laughs> Okay, well, I only have one other direction to go, uh, yep. so... But it is the direction in which there might be a princess, so... <laughs> and the game will be up over already, right? I mean, that's, that's yep. how this is going to You'll find work. the princess, she'll go, oh, my love, and then it just ends. Yep. Most of the puzzles in the town are strictly optional. <laughs> yes. There's Turn a little hut just off the path. Perhaps the guard dogs have an occasional use for it, but it looks empty now. It is their, uh, uh, toilet. So let's go pick up poop. <laughs> the little hut is empty. <laughs> Except for <laughs> dog crap. Well, you seem to have found the kingdom of furries, so... Oh yeah, look at that! Great! I didn't even notice. <laughs> I, I don't think they can speak. Because they're dogs. Excuse me, guardsmen. Uh, uh, guard dogs. I've been traveling for months to see Princess Cosima. Really? <laughs> I would like an audience, please. I'm sorry, but the princess is not receiving visitors, particularly not strangers. Is that so? Well, you can proceed left and just break yep. into the castle somewhere. Yep. See, like, that's not the edge of the screen you just click, because the actual pixel that is clicking is the end of the rightmost foot, see? Well, that's very climbable vines. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't even have thought to climb. The vines are too flimsy to support Alexander. Hmm. So much for that. Maybe he can shrink himself down. <laughs> The kind of rational solution that exists in video games. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Again, not the edge of the screen. Yeah, I understand that. Ends abruptly at a pile of boulders. Then why even show a path? <laughs> oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Can you just walk off the edge of the screen? <clears throat> That way is blocked by heavy foliage. <laughs> Conveniently, there's the heavy foliage starts right at the edge of the screen, like right there. Vines have begun to climb the castle stucco walls. I mean, obviously, the fact that you could attempt climbing means there's some significance to them. Yep. This area is deserted. There's no one here to talk. What I want to talk to the vines. <laughs> Hello, is anyone there? No, those weren't the vines I was clicking on. Flimsy to support Alexander. The wall is quite solid. Alexander's hands would give way long before the wall. It's stuck. I wasn't though. trying to just punch my it. way through it. <laughs> oh, show the show the guard dogs the signet ring. <coughs> it does prove that you're not just some that's random true, twit. That's true. That's true. Oh, there's. More vines over here, too. Yeah, maybe if you can get them to, I don't know, go shit for a while. <laughs> Could also give them a strong mint. <laughs> Alexander decides to <coughs> Hey, it made the do-do-do, you did a good thing sound. Yep, yep, good call. His paper is lost in the shipwreck. It is the only possible calling card he can... Backwards quote! I'm Prince Alexander of Daventry. I'm an acquaintance of Princess Cosima. If you could just inform her that I'm here, please. <laughs> so everyone says, 
Let me just look at that ring. Is, Is he gonna steal out? the ring? What does it say, Gruff? I can't read. Of Daventry, Prince Alexander. <laughs> Why does he have a Brooklyn accent? <laughs> He's not coming back with the ring. Oh, did he actually take the ring, you think? Yep, he took it in. Oh. The guard returns a moment later with a majestic-looking creature. Captain Saladin speaks with a voice that is gentle, but reflects a will of iron. Okay. Prince Alexander of Daventry, I presume. I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar with your country, but I'm sure Wazir al Hazred will want to meet you. If indeed you are a friend of the princess, please follow me. The Wazir will want to kill you. He doesn't look the same in his portrait as no, his... No, uh, he doesn't. <laughs> Lord al Hazred, a visitor to... Or see there, for that matter. Prince Alexander of Daventry. True. What is it that you seek, Prince Alexander? <laughs> you like my little crown? <laughs> but I came to see Princess Cosima. Some months ago, my father, King Graham, saved my family and I from imprisonment. And me. A wizard named Mordak. Mm -hmm. The same wizard that kidnapped the princess? Exactly. When my father rescued us, he also liberated Cosima and sent her home. Then your father has my gratitude, and that of the entire kingdom. But I'm afraid I still fail to see the purpose of your visit. I knew her for seven minutes, so I've fallen in love. Exactly. <laughs> I came to make sure that Cosima arrived safely and to pay my respects. Before we parted, she gave me an invitation to visit. I have no doubt she did exactly that at the time, Prince Alexander. However, Things have greatly changed for Cosima since her ordeal in Mordak's castle. She is currently on the rack. She became ill and died while she was gone. Cosima is sequestered in mourning for them as befits a princess. She is not receiving visitors of any kind. This isn't suspicious at yeah, all. Yeah, so he's taken up the regency and... Your visit would be appropriate. You see, it is time for Cosima to take her responsibilities seriously. Why do you say that with a French accent? Gone, she no longer <laughs> Why does it have change every sentence? <laughs> yes, yes. As was her parents' wish, Cosima and I are to be wed. We shall rule the kingdom together. I assure you, our marriage... So you have to kill the vizier. Now. Yep. As a prince and a gentleman... So the guard in the background, his eye flashed yep. with yellow. Before there is any further embarrassment? I see. I suppose that I was mistaken. I thought for certain that Cosima... Well, I apologize. A young man sees what he wishes to see. Why does the guard captain constantly have his sword slightly unsheathed? <laughs> Just in case. Just for threat. Swift. Yep. Perhaps I will take the opportunity to look around your fair land while I'm here. I would advise against that. The kingdom is rather, shall we say, inhospitable these days? But it is your... Who says that about their own kingdom? <laughs> People who are evil. Fair enough. Good day. Oh, your tiny uh, crown slipped down. Oh no. <laughs> he put he, he resheathed the sword, did you notice? Yes. You have had your hearing with Wazir al-Hazred. I trust you'll respect his wishes and not return. I have nope. been instructed not to let you into the castle again. Good day, my lord. Captain Saladin whispers something to the guard dogs at the castle gate, and they nod with understanding. He whispers, don't let him in. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Which really didn't need to be secret. Alexander has a feeling they won't be letting him into the castle again. What with him having said that? <laughs> uh, feeling. It's just a feeling. <laughs> I have a feeling that words have meaning, and sometimes you can interpret that meaning to understand whole sentences. <laughs> well, shall we figure out how to break into the castle next time?
Probably not, to be honest. <laughs> but we'll maybe make some other progress. <laughs> Until then, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, do leave a like below. Cheers from me, all, Weasel. And have a great day.